pasar is also to happen. So, pasó, me pasó. Remember the possessive, uh, remember this pronoun. Me pasó means happened to me, right? Ayer means yesterday. Perde fue is the past of the verb to be. So this means was. Was. Perder means to lose. Las llaves. The keys. The keys. So, this would be the worst that uh, to me happened yesterday was to lose the keys. Lo peor que me pasó ayer fue perder las llaves. Lo peor que me pasó ayer fue perder las llaves. This is an example of how we are using again the abstract um, article lo, right? We are, uh, although we are saying later that uh, the worst thing was to lose the keys, but here we are saying the worst thing and we are speaking in an abstract way, right? That's why we say lo peor. So I'm more uh, interested here that you learn how to use these lo peor, lo mejor, mejor que, rather than understand how to structure all these sentences that are a bit long for, for beginners right now, okay? But let me read it one more time. Lo peor que me pasó ayer fue perder las llaves. The worst Sorry, the worst or worst thing that to me happened yesterday was to lose the keys. Ne the next. Auto means car, as you know. Mio means mine. El auto de... Juan es mayor que el mío. El auto de Juan es mayor que el mío. This means the car of Juan is bigger than the mine, right? Remember that mine in Spanish, you always goes with art with an article before, right? Mine, ours, theirs. Okay, el mío. And here in this sentence, we are seeing a uh, mayor, meaning bigger, right? While here we were comparing father and daughter. Mayor means older. Here we are comparing objects or things. And mayor means bigger. We are comparing the Juan's car with my car. Okay? Pero la camioneta de José... Sorry. Pero la camioneta de José es la más grande. This would be, pero la camioneta de José es la más grande. Pero means but, ok? Camioneta means van, a van, bigger than a car, right? So, let's read, let's tra translate. But, the van of José is the most big, okay? Remember that más, M-A-S, means more, 
or means most. Here, when we when we uh, write the word must preceded by an article, right? It means most, okay? Not more. To be more, it will be más and que, the word que here, right? Like mejor que, when you're comparing two things. Here it's superlative, la más grande, the biggest. So this would be, but the van of José is the biggest. Okay, so we've seen it, like we read this again. También means also. Bonita means pretty or lovely or nice, right? So this would be. Pero también es la menos bonita. Pero también es la menos bonita. But also it is the least uh, pretty or, or lovely or nice. Okay? And we are speaking about the camioneta, the van. Okay? In the previous sentence we said that it was the biggest of all. And now in this, in this sentence we say, but it's also the, sm the least pretty of all, right? Pero también es la menos bonita. Remember that es comes from verb ser, verb to be. It is present tense for the third person of the singular, right? So it means is, okay? Or, sorry, it is, because in, in uh, the pronoun is already implicit there. It is. Now, we say, estudiar. Estudiar means to study, okay? You see, it has the same root as in English. Aburrido, aburrido means bore, uh, boring. We've seen this in the previous lesson as well. Hacer is to do, to do or to make, right? In Spanish it's the same verb. Nada means nothing, nada, nothing. So, estudiar es aburrido. Pero lo más aburrido es no hacer nada. Estudiar es aburrido, pero lo más aburrido es no hacer nada. Let me translate. To study is boring. Estudiar es aburrido. Pero... But, the most boring, the most boring thing, right, the most boring is not doing anything, right? Actually, in Spanish, to do nothing, literally you say, not do nothing, right? Not to do nothing. It's a redundant way of speaking, but that's how you, that's fine in Spanish, okay? So, again, to study is boring, but the most boring is not do nothing, or, or not to do anything, which is what actually means in English. And, uh, again, see that lo más aburrido, we are also talking about something general, abstract, the most boring thing of all is, and then you say what it is, right? But just being the most boring thing, very, it's general and, and abstract. That's why we use lo. So, sorry for being so repetitive, but I really, I really hope that you can, you understand when to use lo 